Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again with another of the worst assets on the asset store reviews and the potentially copied or stolen game artwork being sold on the Unity asset store like this beautiful flying dragon from the Astelia game that was available on the asset store but has now been deprecated. Not by Unity however but by the publisher because they got a one star review. Other assets have also been deprecated by other publishers. Great news! There's also some mysterious news that we found out in our investigations. Sit back, enjoy and I'll see you all in a second. Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again with another part of my worst assets on the asset store and talking about potentially stolen or copied game artwork and assets into the Unity asset store. We also have the identity theft of 3D voxels, the real 3D voxels over in Saudi Arabia who are making these 3D virtual walkthroughs and 3D scanning services being used uh, to sell assets on the Unity asset store such as this dragon from the game Astelia which um, is no longer playable uh, apparently which is a shame but the dragon does look beautiful here is the 3d voxel dragon here is the Astelia dragon and well let's just say that is ridiculous how similar or near identical they are I can't even see any differences between these two now if we pop over to the art station account you can see that this person Song Yong Yun over in South Korea who I have to say is an outstanding artist look at this this is beautiful oh, amazing is the well apparently is the artist who worked on these dragons now we have seen before art station people claiming to have made things that they haven't but this does look pretty legit and as you can see quite detailed in the dragon that they've got it is the same dragon and it is beautiful this the plot does thicken even more in my last video i spoke about another publisher because over on the unity forums and this thread here by Alex Watch, he highlights a few others, one of which being Art Coding, who is selling a Death Ring lookalike known as a Black Dragon. Now, this is where it was on the Unity Asset Store. Since then, I've reached out, spoken to Art Coding. They have deprecated this dragon as they investigate to see what's going on. And anyone who has purchased the dragon, you can get your money back. Great job. One thing that Art Coding have told me is that they're a school and their students were uploading the assets directly to the asset store. And since then, they're changing the policy that only uh, a select few will be able to upload assets to the asset store, which is great because let's face it, everyone went to college with a student who copied over your shoulder or plagiarized something. So it's never been the first time that a student has copied something for somewhere else. Now, the other debate is, is this really been copied from, from Blizzard's World of Warcraft? Well, now, I don't play World of Warcraft anymore. My wife has banned me. She says I'm too much of a Leroy Jenkins. So I had to find somebody who had already stolen a Death Wing and ripped it so we can compare the two. Thankfully, back in 2014 on 3D Warehouse, somebody uploaded this Death Wing and his rider. Here you go, click download. Now, I also went and purchased the Black Dragon from the Unity Asset Store before it got deprecated so I can load them up in my favorite editor and see if they're the same and also throw them both into Unity, see how they look. Here's the damning evidence. On one side is the uh, Death Wing, on the other side is the Black Dragon, as was sold by Art Coding on the Unity Asset Store. On one side is the Death Wing, on the other side is the Black Dragon sold on the Unity Asset Store. If you even forget the model, this itself is damning evidence. When you look at them side by side inside Unity, then it's pretty obvious. There's some changes, really basic ones, like here, instead of pointing out, this way they've curved it to go the other way the wings are identical and the tails have just been modified slightly to be different now that i've removed the head in this so we don't get distracted because the head is different they've added horns but the question is which model did that head and horns get stolen from they've just like cut and paste a couple of different dragons together to make a different dragon but down here the body has been stretched and that stretching may have distorted this chest pieces here that they've also changed slightly. It's scary stuff. It does open the other question. At what point can you take inspiration from somebody? And at what point is it just copying original work that somebody's got a copyright of? I can't, just because I love the Mandalorian, I can't go in Blender and make a Mandalorian helmet and stick it in my game. Like I can't put Darth Vader in there. I can't have a man with a big S on his chest called Superman. I will get in trouble if it's the same S as Superman's got. I can have an S if it's not the same S, 
but if it's the same S, I can't. It's a strange one. I'm pretty sure this little chest piece here is enough identification to say that this is a death wing from the Blizzard's World of Warcraft. I don't want to mess with Blizzard. You shouldn't mess with Blizzard either. But this is where our story then gets a bit dirtier. Turns out this sketch fab which was on the, I haven't closed my windows, thankfully, which was on the Black Dragons page on the Unity Asset Store, which is, as I say, been deprecated, well done art coding, and you can get your money back if you contact them. Well, this Sketchfab account was under the CDN account, which is up here, CDN Saudi Arabia. Where have we seen Saudi Arabia before? That's right, up here in 3D Voxels page, Saudi Arabia. Where have we seen these minor tools and Mr. Green Blob before? Well, the same account on Sketchfab that the Black Dragon from Art Coding's page. Here is the minor tools and here's Mr. Green Blobby McBlobface. So it's the same Sketchfab account that's being used for the Black Dragon that was being sold by Art Coding and also the assets that are being sold by 3D Voxel. They're the same Sketchfab account. That's the link between the two. Now, since I found that, I got told that by somebody yesterday, and I was like, are you sure? Checked it today. Thankfully, I didn't close these tabs because I've posted that they're the same, and I've also told Art Coding that they're the same. Art Coding will check in and say, why was the wrong Sketchfab account used on the Asset Store? That's odd. I'm like, well, no, why is it the Sketchfab account of somebody who's doing potentially identity theft and also selling stolen at complete rips of assets on the asset store. Why was the same account used? However, now it's been deleted. Look at the URL. Oh, you can't see the URL, but it, it, it is. It's been deleted. This Sketchfab model has been deleted. If I refresh this page, it will be, you know what? I can do duplicate, duplicate tab. Here we go. I've done the duplicate tab. It's been deleted. Since I've reported that it's the same, the person who owns this account, CDN, on Sketchfab, has deleted this dragon. The Flying Dragon, which was stolen from Mistelia Games, is also on that same CDN account. This beautiful, stunningly beautiful dragon. It's possibly one of the best dragons I've ever seen. Shame it was being sold on the Asset Store illegally. A Warspawn got it. And... Uh, you had to report a, a one star. It got deprecated by uh, 3D Voxel. Thankfully, nobody else can buy it. Unity didn't deprecate it. Unity didn't deprecate 3D Voxel's page. And you can still get in trouble if you're buying these. If you're buying these in good faith, uh, it's Unity's fault. If you get called out, like what happened with Seven Days to Die when they bought assets from the asset store and they turned out to be stolen from the killing field, well, Replace them in your game, take them out, and you shouldn't get in trouble because you did it in good faith. You need to, you need to be taking, when it's talking about identity theft, when you're talking about completely stolen assets, but especially identity theft, you need to freeze that page immediately and do an investigation. You can't muck about with identity theft. Asset theft, you can go, well, is it the same? Look, a complete rip is a complete rip. You've got to take those down. You can't rely on the goodwill of people like uh, Art Coding who have found a bad Apple reportedly and they've taken down the asset. I'm taking what Art Coding is saying in good faith that they're going to be investigating this and they're going to help sort this out. But Unity, you need to, I, I sympathize. I know it's hard, but you need to step up more. If you need help from the community, reach out. There's lots of us out there that are willing to help. But when we do, you need to listen. Hopefully there'll be good news, there'll be light at the end of the tunnel, there'll be a rainbow after the storm, and we'll have a nice cup of tea to celebrate. But for now, avoid 3D Voxel, and if it is too good to be true, sometimes it is. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now, and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button, and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.